morning, Captains. I'm Tiffany Slayball. And I'm Brian Atkins. Today is Tuesday, May 10th, and we're coming to you with another live episode of WK Today. With the hot summer months approaching, Michigan lawmakers are close to joining 16 other states by making it against the law to leave your pets in the car. The law has three parts to it. First, without injury to the pet, the owner could face a $350 fine and possible jail time. If the pet is found injured, the penalty is up to a year in jail and a fine of $1,000. If the pet dies in the car, they could face up to five years in jail and a $5,000 fine. A new species of ticks has been identified and has been identified in Michigan. The Lone Star Tick carries Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever and can cause tick paralysis. Deer and turkey are the major hosts of these ticks, as well as heavily wooded areas. If bitten by these ticks, it could also cause an allergic reaction to beef, venison, and turkey. In political news, it's looking like Trump will be on the ballot come November. However, there are several big-name Republicans that say they are not going to vote for either party or they are not ready to support Trump. These include former George Florida Governor Jeb Bush, Senator Lindsey Graham, and Paul Ryan. On the Democratic side, Clinton is still leading Sanders with more primaries taking place today. Now let's turn it over for Aaron for Sports. Thanks, Tiffany. Today for the captains, boys golf will tee off at Chemung at 3, track and field hosts Lakeland at 345, Freshman baseball and softball are both at Grand Blank at 4, and girls tennis host Howell at 4. There will be a mandatory parent meeting for all students playing football this fall at Kettering, tonight at 7 p.m. in the cafeteria. In addition, all students interested in playing football next year. There will be a meeting in the LGI on Thursday, May 12th at 1.45 p.m. Trouts for all Kettering dance team um, are June 1st from 3.30 until 5, and June 3rd from 2.30 until 5.30. If you're not on the team this year, you must bring a signed copy of a current sports physical and a signed concussion form and printout of your current grades on June 1st to participate. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Jackson in the athletic office. That's all for sports. I'm back to you guys at the news desk. Stuck for a buck is back, returning to Kettering on May 20th during all lunches. For $1, you will get a foot of tape, or for $2, you can get a yard to tape Mr. Franco react to a wall. Proceeds benefit the Color Blast charity, Mental Health of America. If you are a senior, please note that the last day for you to check out library books is this Friday, and your last day to return them is May 24th. Senior fines for library books will be forgiven if you return them to the library or the drop box in the Academic Center by May 24th. If you are interested in getting involved in leadership at Kettering, consider joining Student Council. Applications are now available in room 105, Please see Mr. Burlingame with any questions. In case you missed it, voting results for prom are in, and the theme is Masquerade Ball. If you are a junior and interested in being a member of the Decorations Committee, please attend a short meeting on Thursday, May 19th in room 204 from 1.30 to 2.15. See Ms. Buckner or Ms. Pratt for any questions. Anyone that would like to test out of a class for next year must complete the assessment for credit form by tomorrow. All forms must be turned into the counseling office by 9 a.m. Due to senior exams and seniors leaving early, our last show for the school year will take place on Wednesday, May 25th. If you know any staff members that you think would be great to be guest anchors, please come by 503 and let us know. Well, that's all we have for you today, Captains. Once again, I'm Brandon Atkins. And I'm Tiffany Slave. I'll see you here back tomorrow. See you here back tomorrow? Yep, that means.